So now onto the VHS collection G section. Start off with the 20th anniversary of Greece. So that would be 1997 or 98 as the date is on this. But it's got some interviews as bonus. Go. So then I've got one of the was it Universal Paramount releases. Not one of the early ones, but it's still a CIC one, so it's not too old. We've got the Great Glory with Matty Broderick, Denzel, Carrie Elways, Morgan Freeman. Won for some Academy Awards, and rightly so. It's a very good historical drama, even if it's moldy. <laughs> Great comedy, The Grey Outdoors, which is uh, one part of the John Hughes collection. It's a fantastic, funny film, for me anyway. G.I. Jane, a film that's remembered more for a slap than anything else. But it's from, what is it, Ridley Scott. I've never actually seen it, but I'm sure it's worth a watch once. Where are we? Goodfellas, Warner's release. One of the earlier ones because it's digitally processed. Packaging 1991. So, yeah, probably the first release of the film then, on retail. And then they re released it under the Underworld Epics label. The best mob movie ever made by Empire Magazine. Oh crap, it's moldy. Then we've got Gladiator, special edition, which includes the making of documentary. Really bad poster though. Nice gold box though. And the standard edition. Dolby surround. There we go. Where are we? Right. We've got three copies of Gandhi Summer. It's a fantastic film with a cast of literally thousands. And won eight can be awards, including Best Picture. So this is the Cinema Club budget release, directed by Richard Attenborough. So you got that one. The other Cinema Club release, I don't know how many times they changed it. 180 minutes though. And here we go, got one of the early RCA releases. Oh, Martin Sheen, Trevor Howard, John Mills, Ever Fox, John Gilgood, Candice Bergen. There you go, well, that's an old tape. And then another film I got many times Ghost, winner of two Academy Awards. Saw this one in the cinemas when it came out a couple of times, I think. Those shadows are still scary. So you got that's the was that Paramount release. Then you got the other Paramount release, pretty much all the same, I think. Yeah, this one's got the, a very short, Swayze Goldberg interview, and yeah, then the original CIC release has that interview too. Oh, this one's got a bit, a bit more information. Very big hit at this time. And we've got some pounds in gold member. <laughs> With Michael Caine having the time of his life. Probably the third best film in the Austin Power series. Then Christmas film The Grinch, a nice green box. It's a very good film. And we've got another green box for Godzilla. I like this film less each time I watch it, unfortunately, but. There. More Kevin Costner. Uh, I don't think I've actually seen this. This is just on the cusp of his becoming famous. When is this? 1988, yeah. So it's after Untouchables, before Field of Dreams, etc. Then we've got Tupac and James Belushi together with Dennis Quaid and James Earl Jones in Gang Related. I've not seen it. But it's a great cop thriller, so. Probably worth a watch. And The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, Clint Eastwood. Now this is um, yeah, 155 minutes and it's 4 by 3 I do have the widescreen version in the widescreen section and this is one of the old releases in the Warner Brothers case. Yeah, that's an old one, look at that. Then you got The Goonies, this is the re-release under the Family Entertainment label. Great film, if problematic. Gorillas in the Mist. This was another big film at this time. It's, you know, this is old Warner's box. 
Uh, Mike Lapted directed it. Don't think it won any Oscars. Rick Baker did the color effects, but yeah, it's an old Warner tape. The Ghostbusters special edition. With a few extra bits if you can get to the end of the film and find them. But Elson film, and then we got The Golden Child. Eddie Murphy is the chosen one. Another old CNC box. It's not a patch on Big Trouble in China, but it's still a good time. And Jackie Channing, gorgeous. But yeah, this is, I watched this for the first time this year, and yeah, didn't enjoy it. It's not much martial arts in it. Green Card, a romantic comedy from. Was it 90? Doesn't say. Early 90s. Which is, yeah, Andy McDowell in one of her many romantic comedies of the 90s. Then you got Bottom, the Bottom movie, unofficially. Get Out Paradiso, which is <laughs> good fun. Right, where are we? Christopher Lambert, Mario Peebles, and it's not Highlander 3. This one is a pretty good film, actually. I was very surprised how good this is. And then an unofficial Star Trek film. And a very loving tribute to the Trek films, even if the box is slightly damaged. Good Morning Vietnam, based on the uh, true life character of uh, Adrian Cronauer. Back in Vietnam, so it's a lot of fun, but then a lot of serious stuff. Yeah, getting even with Dad, Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, comedy, but it wasn't fun when I watched it. Then you got De Niro doing sort of horror, God's End. One of the smaller Pathé cases, not for rental. One of those evil child films. Gosford Park. This was a, I wouldn't say it's a fun, but it's a very interesting film. Of the upstairs, upstairs, downstairs, relationships in Britain in 1932. So yeah. So if you like Downton Abbey, you, you probably like that. And I have no idea about this one. Good boy. Mm, let's see, who's it? Molly Shannon. It's about the only name I recognize. Quite a new tape. Girl Interrupted with Angelina Jolie and Winona Ryder in a hospital. Directed by James Mangold, who just done Dial of Destiny. Cheech and Chong, Get Out of My Room. Yeah, I still haven't seen any of their films yet. Written and directed by Cheech Marin. Some of them do sound interesting. Then we've got. Pierce Brosnan in a, in a Richard Attenborough film, another one, Grey Owl. This is, when was this? 2000, so yeah, just after, after Die Another Day. Hmm. It's probably good. Scorsese again, Gangs of New York. Very long film. But Daniel Day Lewis is Tracking form on it. Then you got Garfield the movie, which Bob Murray regrets. 76 minutes. Nice orange box. Clint Eastwood in The Gauntlet. <laughs> That's a hell of a poster. So, yeah, very good, directed by Clint, where you have to get Foulmouth Hooker across to testify with the police and gangsters trying to take them out. Then we've got The Giver, Dark Hero, not seen this. Is this the sequel? I can never remember which one around they go, but based on the anime. I think one of them has Mark Hamill in. Budget release. And you've got Gattaca. It's a very good sci-fi film. By Andrew Nichol. Someone hasn't rewound it. It's got some dust on these. Right, Gremlins 2. Gremlins 1 is in the Christmas section, so this is, yeah, the old Warner release. £10.99 back in the day. 
So this is 1991. So yeah, this is probably the original rental release at uh, retail release. And the final straight, Ghost of Mars, which was nearly escaped from Mars. But you get Ice Cube instead of what's his name? Can't think now. But you get Natasha Hentridge, but fully clothed. Gone in 60 seconds. Remake of the 70s film, isn't it? Johnny Bruckheimer produced action heist movie. And we get Grand Hog Day. Is this, yeah, great film. And Gator with Bruce Willis. Uh, Burt Reynolds, not Bruce Willis. Uh, sequel to White Lightning. One of his. 70s light-hearted comedies. This one's directed by Burt himself. I prefer the White Lightning, but not bad. And uh, finally, The Gift from the director of Evil Dead, Sam Raimi. All-star cast of actors and Keanu Reeves. But yeah, it's an interesting film. It's not really scary or horror in any way, but good performances and well directed. So thanks for watching. Here end of the lesson.